Hey guys, what's up? Brian from PFC here. New drill for you guys, focusing on something we call the light assist transition. Two variations on uh, on this particular skill. Um, imagine that you're on your carbine, and your carbine has a weapon mounted light. You also have a handgun as backup, and you have a weapon mounted light on the handgun. Weapon mounted light on the carbine takes a uh, takes a dump. Um, we could just transition to handgun and shoot with the handgun, but what if we've got a much farther shot to make? What if the bad guys were in body armor, they're behind barriers, etc., etc.? So first variation on light assist transition involves keeping the carbine up in the workspace because the carbine itself, the rifle, is functional. Handgun gets drawn out. This is going to mandate a transfer of the weapon over to the support side, the carbine. So we got carbine on support side. We got handgun obviously on the handgun dominant side. And uh, we're going to fire that one handed. So we're up on the carbine in a one handed platform. Handgun comes up alongside, illuminates, activates its weapon mounted light, and provides the light for the carbine to take and engage. That's variation number one. Variation number two is where we might be one of those troops, and there are a lot of troops that are out there that do not have a weapon mounted light on their uh, on their handgun. So they have the carbine where it has an active light, a weapon mounted light that is good and is operational, but the carbine itself, the rifle takes a dump. So in the process there, we're going to again, transfer the carbine over to the support side, pin that locket into the armpit, keep the hand up on the forend, activate the weapon mounted light, and the handgun is going to come out and we're gonna utilize the weapon mounted light on the carbine in order to illuminate for the handgun. Give them a try, stay safe.